as usual it's a pleasure to introduce uh, dr sankalp mittal and who is a dear friend of ours is he is a graduate from sms medical college in 1999 and post graduate from manipal college of dental sciences in oral and maxillofacial surgery he is a life member of indian dental association association of oral and maxillofacial surgeons of india academy of oral implantology and indian society of oral implantologists a fellow of the international As association of oral and maxillofacial surgeons he is also the diplomat of the international congress of implantology usa first in rajasthan state member membership of the royal college of surgeons and physicians glasgow uh, uk and his topic is applied anatomy of inferior alveolar nerve thank you thank you very much sir and good afternoon chair persons and uh, as usual first of all i am really grateful to organizers and i would like to thank uh, dr neelam maheshwari didi dr punith bhargav sir and uh, dr tanmay for their hard work and uh, it is indeed a pleasure to present this uh, lecture in front of my teachers dk gupta sir both danjali ma'am dr prashant pillai sir and of course dr vivek sir and all of you thank you very much for this warm welcome and i will be discuss, uh, discussing the surgical anatomy of inferior lower nerve because regardless of the type of implant which we are practicing whether it is a conventional or a basal one we know that the lips are the most important organ when it comes to express the love and we never want something happening to the lips especially and we never want a dentist hand behind that miss happening like this which is very common nowadays as the implant practice are growing these type of complaints are very common and uh, unfortunate part for this is there is no treatment after that as such there is no definitive treatment once this injury occurs so we have to be very careful so the best thing is to prevent and for us most of the time the injury is because we think that the inferior lower canal is there is a nerve which goes inside the mandible which remains inside the mandible and when we put the implant beyond the nerve it is injured but the, th the story is not that simple sometimes you can injure the nerve before even entering the into the mandible or sometimes you don't know that you have not injured the nerve it is still patient may complain of anesthesia or paresthesia so the important thing is the anatomy of the uh, inferior lower nerve so mostly we know that the inferior lower nerve is a branch of mandibular nerve and then there are other branches are also there from mandibular nerve like auricular temporal lingual nerve buccal branch also and we have been taught that there is a single thread which comes and goes into the mandibular foramen but you will be surprised to know that many a times it is not a single thread there are multiple branches and that is also not from only the mandibular branch a branch can come from the lingual branch also and another branch can come from the auricular temporal also so in fact there may be a loops which unites before entering them to the mandibular foramen to make a nerve so there are multiple sources to make a single nerve so when you give a local anesthesia this is one of the common reason of failure and another reason another practical thing behind this is between these loops lies the middle meningeal artery and sometimes middle meningeal artery pulsation of middle meningeal artery compresses this nerve and which leads to unexplained trigeminal neuralgia of the inferior lower nerve branch when the nothing is there in the brain no abnormality is there in the brain still you may find that there is a inferior lower nerve neuralgia is there and then it forms these loops unites to form a nerve and this nerve enters into the mandibular foramen mandibular foramen usually lies in the center of the ramus but as you know that when there is a resorption when there is a atrophy of the mandible then it can come anterior and i always remember this mandibular foramen is at the level of the upper occlusion plane or at the level of the occlusion plane of the upper teeth and again to make our life more simpler we know that the mandibular nerve enters into the canal through the uh, inferior nerve enters into the canal through the inferior uh, mandibular nerve mandibular uh, foramen and again we think that it will be a single canal but you will be surprised that there can be a single canal there can be a two canal or there can be a three canal also and all this the, there are many classification are also available but uh, basically this happens because embryology